Hello children, so now we are moving on to example 4. This is the diagram. It says in triangle ABC, the bisector AD of angle A is perpendicular to side BC. Show that AB is equal to AC and triangle ABC is isosceles. So from this given information, the bisector AD of angle A. See children, this is your angle A and this is the bisector of angle A. So this is cutting, this AD line is cutting this line angle into two equal parts. If suppose the angle A was 80 degrees, suppose this is 80 degrees. Okay, so what happens when AD bisects angle A, this becomes 40 and this becomes 40. That means, that's why this uh, same pattern sign is shown. This is one curve and this is one curve. Shows that these two angles are equal. And whenever AD is bisecting, they are telling it is perpendicular to BC. So perpendicular means it forms 90 degree and that is why this is shown. So with this given information, we will take triangle ABD, this triangle and triangle ADC. So what are the points we know? First is this is equal to this. So I can say BAD is equal to CAD. So that will be my first point. Angle BAD is equal to angle CAD. What is the reason? We have to give the reason because angle A is bisected. By whom? By AD. Next is if you see this AD is coming is the third side of the triangle ABD and here AD is common here also. It is forming one side for this also. So AD is common in both the sides. So I can say AD is equal to AD. The reason is common sign. Next, ADB is equal to ADC 90 degree. Angle ADB is equal to angle ADC 90 degree. Why? Because it is perpendicular. AD perpendicular to BC. So now I have got an angle, a side and an angle. Let us look at the pattern. This is your angle, side, angle. So angle, side, angle. If you see this side also, angle, side, angle. So I can say my angle side angle ABD and ACD are congruent. Next we have to prove that AB is equal to AC. See AB is the first two parts and here AC is also first two parts. So they form the same pattern. So congruent parts of congruent triangles. Now if AB is equal to AC. Now just see here if AB is equal to AC. So in triangle ABC, if two sides are equal, then it is an isosceles triangle. And therefore, we can say triangle ABC is isosceles. Hope oh, this was very easy to understand.